Hi, dyslexic genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. What you're looking at here is an Edison home from 1896. The first homes had one clip here and one clip here, and they had a drawer here. And those homes also had a clock motor in them, and they're known as a clockwork home. They're extremely rare, and they built those for about eight months. And then Edison stopped production, and then two months later, he came out with this home, and this is a skeleton case home. Edison homes were tripled with three numbers in it like this. It's extremely rare. This also has extremely rare National Phonograph crank on it. They were hand pinstriped. These are known as a skeleton case. Why are they known as a skeleton case? Because it's open right here. They came with a brass mantle. They were two minutes. They either, had, they either came with listening tubes or they came with a 14 inch horn and I'm still looking for an original horn. They had an automatic reproducer. You had the adjustment here. And they had this really neat little thing. They had this little indention on the casting. And they stopped that when they made the solid castings. And this, your lift lever comes down and it rests right there. Wonderfully designed machines. They have these, this is extremely early. The pin that goes through here that holds the gate usually screws in at the bottom. But if you can see there on video, this has a nut and they added a piece of brass here. These are extremely rare. After the two month wait, Edison designed a phonograph motor for these. There we go. And this is Edison's first phonograph motor design after the spring motor. And if you see here on video, you have these nuts and the springs. There's two springs on each one. Just like the Triumph, you can adjust your belt tensioning. What's, what else is interesting about this machine? Gentle. It looks like your normal home, but it's not. You see the casting in here? Well, they have a little bump out on the top of the machine, and you can hear it go, clicks in place. And that bump out is in the casting. They were rubber mounted here with natural rubber gaskets, and then down here in the corner. And the bottom of these ca castings have a little piece of steel coming out, a little nipple, to hold the rubber in place as you mount those onto the machine. They came with a brass mandrel. They came, they came with a record shaver, and then there was a brush in here. I have the brush off at the moment, but they came with a record shaver. Very interesting phonographs. If you find a three serial number home, that's extremely rare. They're hard to find. They're usually in people's collections. I got a call once. These people called me up and said, hey, I have this old Edison home. I went up, I looked at it. I said, how much do you want for it? They said, we don't want, we don't want it, you can have it. Sometimes you, you, hit, you hit the lottery. The other interesting thing about the cabinets, a home, I never, I did, I don't know why they have this machine mark here on both sides, of the inside of the cabinet. This machine is totally untouched. It's all original. The motor has two, it has two pins here that hook into it. There we go. Wasn't it life? Somebody had drilled two holes here or probably mounted this motor into something. 
who knows? This is extremely rare and very interesting on early Edison's. This hobby is a lot of fun, and you come across this, you never know. Stuff shows up all the time, and this is my tip for the day.